Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys In this video here we'll be working on Chevy Cruze guys and we'll show you how to remove or how to replace front passenger seat belt Stay with us and we're going to cover that Quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop Why guys? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for all the work we do here at the shop guys and all the free information we provide to you If you want to save even more money guys guys check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see guys where you can get parts for a really good price and fast shipping as well now we have guys a 2015 chevy cruise but it should be the same procedure for the whole generation guys the whole generation from 2008 when they started making this thing in europe and china to 2016 when they quit making it so let's explain what we'll be doing here first guys in order to remove the belt okay first we need to I need to open okay that cap right here let me let me grab a small screwdriver we need to open that cap okay you just go with the screwdriver I mess with it to see how it is you open it you have three little bitty clips kind of like in Mercedes shape uh, and remove those now 10 millimeter socket guys and we're going to get that bolt loose okay that bolt sometimes falls out sometimes it stays there it really depends now what you need to do grab it separate it okay here you will have that metal plate actually this is the one that's supposed to hold the bolt so it doesn't fall out let me show you let me grab the bolt quick so i can show you how it works okay bolt stays there you push it through that thing and the bolt is not going to fall out now it stays there now grab the belt push down get it out okay just like that now we'll be working here guys okay what we will be doing you can see now in order to remove that cover for the seat belt we need to guys pop that cover loose here because this cover is on top of this one so what we do get a panel removal tool guys okay and we have a few clips that we need to okay get loose perfect you can see here we have one regular clip and two metal ones we just leave it like that now we'll do the same thing to the back side, the back door. So let me open the door now. Okay, perfect. Right here now, guys. That little bitty thing, it needs to come out as well. Okay, and the whole thing came out. Yes, one, two clips. Perfect. Now, what do we need to do? I will grab it right here, guys, and with the panel removal tool. Check out guys all the tools and parts that we use listed in the description of the video below. We're going to go ahead, okay, and pry that piece open. Okay, looks like it's loose on this side. Let's go on the front now. Let me move that seat towards the back now so it's out of the way, hopefully. Okay, perfect. And now... Okay, this piece is still holding pretty good somewhere. Okay. It still doesn't want to come out. Okay, perfect. Now it has two metal clips on the bottom. One on the other side, so let's actually okay let me move that thing i need to screw the seat now to the front so i can get the piece through the back okay and that piece came out let me show you where all the clips are now located guys okay we have one two three yellow ones and then here on the bottom you have two metal ones perfect now what we'll do we'll actually go through the other side okay and that way we can show you guys with a great detail how everything is happening here so let me just uh, pass the camera okay so we can situate everything here perfect now guys let me tell you something before you guys continue or even before we start on the procedure what do you need to do things you need to do guys you need to actually disconnect your car battery for at least one hour before the repair why because the seat belt is part of the airbag system guys and if you are not careful you can blow things up it can kill you it can kill your passengers so if you're not certified guys and qualified 
Don't do the repair guys, consider this entertaining video, and not a how to video, but we want to show you how we do it. So, what do we need to do? I need to get again, plastic panel removal too. Okay, give me just one second to grab it because I lost it somewhere. Okay, perfect, because we will need to remove one more clip guys. Okay, one more panel and one more clip later, right there. This panel needs to come out, so let me show you how now. Get underneath here, pry, you have one clip I think, you pull it down, it comes out of the belt, and the clip I'm talking about, this one here. When you install it guys, okay, it's super important, okay, this, okay, this uh, you can see hole right here, that is horizontal, goes in this thing here, and the button, it should go on top of this button, so when you move that thing to adjust the belt, it actually pushes the button down. So you have to be careful when you install it, otherwise your belt adjustment will not work correctly. Now, what do we need to do next, guys? I will need to disconnect, okay, the wire. Now, car battery has been disconnected. The wire is right here, this is the connector. And uh, never use metal things or anything like that. Okay, why? Because you can, guys, explode things. Pull that orange piece out. Grab the connector and just pull it straight out without twisting, guys. Okay, this is the connector. Right there, that's what it looks like. Now, this is out of the way. We can go ahead and leave it on the side. What else we need to do? Now, before we continue, right here, guys. Okay, there is one more clip that we need to remove and this one is under the seat belt. Ah, I almost had it. Just go underneath it, grab it, pull it out so you don't break it, guys. Okay, with the clip removal too. Now, grab it, lift up, come in an angle, and pull it out. Okay, and that piece can come down. Now, what I'll do, I'll remove the belt from the bottom first, right here. So that way, guys, Okay, the belt is not going to be hanging. So we need to use a Torx 50 star looking bit. Okay, like this one right here, guys, check it out. If you want to see where we bought all the tools, check out, we have everything listed in the description of the video below. So you can get it yourself. Most of the times those will be extremely tight and they will not go by hand due to the fact, guys, that they have thread locker. So let me get the impact. Okay, quick. And always, guys, always use thread locker when you install them. Otherwise, they can get uh, those bolts can get loose from vibrations. This is uh, what thread locker looks like by Walktite. So there are different ones on the market, but this is this is a good one that we've been using. They have different strength as well. Okay, both came out. Now, what do we need to do? Same exercise, guys, same thing on top, right here. Okay, and you can see those things tend to be really, really tight, but I don't blame them. This is your seat belt. This is a life-saving device, guys. So, okay. I don't think it will still go with a little impact because it seems pretty, pretty tight to be honest with you because of that thread locker. No, still need to use the breaker bar. Let me try now to see if that will do some good. And we will be, guys, almost, almost there. Perfect. Bolt stays on the belt. Now, we grab, guys, the belt. It comes out here in an angle, kind of like, you need to grab it, pull it out. Comes in an angle, careful, that's explosive. And that's how you guys remove, okay, the seat belt on the passenger side on Chevy Cruze, guys. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you guys trying to figure this thing out. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.